It is time for the highs and lows of the week, and we again are going with all highs this morning. Our first high on this Mother's Day goes to a mom in Florida named Ruthie Ramirez, who went nearly a month without seeing her children after she contracted coronavirus, became critically ill, and was placed on a ventilator. Ruthie beat the disease and was reunited with her kids as she left the hospital. After 25 days apart, 8-year-old Sophia and 5-year-old Isaac finally got to hug their mom again. Ruthie is a single mother and a patient scheduling coordinator at the Miami Cancer Institute, where she was admitted to the ICU in early April after falling ill. As her condition deteriorated, doctors administrated to Ruthie an experimental stem cell treatment, which she credits for her recovery. Her doctors, nurses, and co-workers gathered there to cheer her on, set up a GoFundMe page to make sure Sophia and Isaac were taken care of while mom was in the hospital. Ruthie says her kids are what kept her pushing through. Welcome home, Ruthie, and happy Mother's Day. Our next tie goes to one high school principal in Texas, making sure the class of 2020 goes out in style, even without the traditional rituals of senior year. Wiley High School Principal Verdi Montgomery, great name, has been keeping in touch with students virtually with his morning announcements on YouTube. But when the school outside of Dallas had to cancel its traditional graduation ceremony because of the coronavirus, Principal Montgomery really stepped up his game. He hopped into his car and visited every single senior in the graduating class, all 612 of them, to offer his personal congratulations. Verdi and his wife drove more than 800 miles over the course of 12 days to spend time with each student at a safe distance, of course. He took a selfie and handed every student a special note. I am so sorry this has happened. I can't believe I've not gotten to meet with you. I had to watch you finish this year. I am honored to get to be your principal. Oh man, Principal Montgomery's congratulations also came with a corny joke. He said, one of these days we're gonna look back at this and snicker while handing student a mini Snickers bar. We don't let that one go, Verdi. Principal Montgomery still hopes to hold a graduation ceremony for the seniors when everyone can gather again. Well done, sir. Our final high goes to the highest court in the land, conducting its business from home, just like the rest of us. This week, for the first time in history, the United States Supreme Court heard oral arguments over the telephone due to the coronavirus lockdown. As an attorney answered questions from the robed justices during Wednesday's session, it became clear that someone on the call forgot to hit the mute button as he or she took a bathroom break. Listen closely. Maybe they're going to be saying, hey, call your congressman and uh, change these laws that apply to banks. And what the FCC has said is that when the subject matter of the call ranges to the topic, then the call is transformed. Yes, that is the sound of a toilet flushing during a Supreme Court hearing. I have a number of questions for the still unidentified flusher. Chiefly, did you really take the phone into the bathroom with you during oral arguments at the Supreme Court? Unsanitary and possibly unconstitutional.